In this lesson, we're going to look at how to copy to the clipboard with JavaScript. So we're going to look at two ways of copying to the clipboard depending on what type of text you are trying to copy. If you have an input text box that you want to copy the text from, we'll look at a way of selecting that text and then executing a specific command to actually copy that to the user's clipboard. And then the second way we'll look at doing it is using a special function available from the clipboard API, which may not be supported in all browsers, but it certainly is a convenient way of doing it if you want to copy some text from the page. So the first example is pretty straightforward. We've got an input box called input text. And on that input control is a function called select, which as you might expect, will select the text inside of the form field. So with the text actually selected, the user could actually use one of their keyboard shortcuts or their mouse to actually copy the text, but we can run that for them using the exec command function available on the document object. So now if I try and paste that in the console, you can see the content from the select box has been copied onto the user's clipboard. So that's pretty straightforward, but we don't have the select function on other DOM elements. So for example, the text below is actually in an element called element text. And as you can see, element text.select isn't actually a function that's available for us to do that selection process. So there are several solutions for hacking around this so that you can actually use the document.exec command function to do the copying. But most modern browsers have an interface for interacting with the clipboard on the navigator object. And we can call a function called write text to actually write any text onto the user's clipboard. But there are two things here. First, the user has to ensure that permission has been granted to the browser to allow it to directly write to the clipboard. And the second thing is there's a slight weird quirk in that you get an error when you try and do this locally when you've got your developer tools open. So let's set this up as an event listener on that second copy button. And then if we close our developer tools and click that second copy button, if we try and paste it in somewhere, say for example into the input field that we've got here above, you can see the inner text from the element that we've got just next to that second copy button has been copied onto the clipboard. And of course it doesn't have to be the actual text of any particular element on your page, you can actually write any text onto the clipboard using that clipboard.writeText function. So there's two ways of copying text to the clipboard. If you do want to support older browsers and you don't want to rely on the user providing the mission to the clipboard API, then you should test for the existence of the write text function. And you can use a fallback using one of those other techniques of selecting text and then call the document.exec command function to copy the text to the clipboard.